Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, Legendary Show Me, and I'm back with another banger, man. Yo, listen, this video is for you guys who want to make new builds, new guard builds. You know, you want to jump in the park and dominate everybody. And also, if you just got the game for Christmas and you're wondering what build you should make, then this is exact video you need to watch now this video is going to be part of a series i'm going to call the series the beginner's guide to 99 you see that's got a nice ring to it right so i'm going to call the, the series the beginner's guide to 99 it's going to essentially take you all the way through to becoming a 99 overall jumping in the park and just destroying everybody okay i got you don't worry that's what this channel is for so make sure you smash the like button okay make sure you smash the like button because i mean it's christmas day and i'm still putting in work for you guys okay merry christmas you know merry christmas man so make sure you smash the like button if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe hit that subscribe button and make sure you put the post notifications on okay so you get notified every time i drop another what another bang man but anyway let's get straight into this video man you know you know let's go okay let's get straight into this man now before we start looking at the builds i just want to make a few things clear first of all this is my opinion all right this is not fact it's my opinion now my opinion is based on having played the game obviously from the day it came out um having seen and used a bunch of these builds and um, based on the fact that with every single one of these builds that I'm about to mention, you can do pretty much anything you want to be able to do, whether that's dunk, shoot, dribble, whatever it may be, you can do pretty much everything with these builds, including play defense. I am not going to put a build here if you can't play defense with it, okay? That's the first thing. Now, the second thing, just because you use one of these builds does not mean you're automatically going to be the most dominant player in the park. All right. You have to pick the build that matches your play style. So I'm not going to put these in order. They're not going to be in any kind of order. Um, which build you use and which build you make completely depends on how you like to play the game and your play style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the type of play style that works with each build and I'm going to give you a YouTuber who uses the build um, who's really good at using the build so you can go and look at them, look at the way they use it, look at the way they play and decide if that build works for you, okay? Alright man, let's get straight into this video man, you know, you know, let's go! So the first build is the two-way slashing playmaker, alright? Now this build was made popular by Le Monster, so here's a clip of him using the build right now. Baby fool. I believe in my fucking self, bitch. I believe in me. Okay, so this is how you make it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your position as point guard. Nice and easy. Choose right or left, it don't matter, okay? But every single one of these guard builds, you're going to be a point guard, all right? Now, the pie chart that you're going to go with is the playmaking and defending pie chart, okay? So from the top, you're going to scroll down and go to the yellow and red playmaking and defending pie chart, okay? Next thing you're going to do, you are going to select the top pie chart that gives you the most speed. That's what you're going to do for every single one of these guard builds. Nice and easy, all right? Now, with your attributes, this is what you want your attributes to look like, okay? You want to set it up exactly like this to give you 11 finishing badges, 10 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 20 defensive badges, all right? Make sure you do it exactly like this. Pause the video, screenshot it if you have to, take a picture, whatever. Set it up like this, all right? Now, what's really important, especially, is your defensive attributes. You need to make sure that you've set them up and you've copied it exactly like that. Otherwise, you won't get 20 defensive badges, all right? It's very important that you upgrade your defensive rebounding before your block, all right? Make sure you do that, otherwise you won't get 20, all right? You get way more points. You get way more badge upgrades from upgrading your defensive rebound than you do with your block, all right? So make sure you set it up exactly like this, um, and then you'll be able to get all of these badge points. 11 finishing, 10 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 20 defensive, 
Now body type, you can make that whatever you like, but for primarily defensive builds, I always put it on Burley. Now height, you can either go 6'4 or 6'5. The benefits you get from going 6'5 are way more than the drawbacks you get from going 6'5. So go 6'5 with this build, all right? You want your height to be 6'5. And you're going to go minimum weight, okay? And you're going to go maximum wingspan, all right? Maximum wingspan. Now, you're probably telling me, oh, but legendary, legendary, look at your shooting. Your three point drops to 64. The difference between 64 and 67 is almost nothing all right you don't want to go maximum wingspan minimum wingspan with this build it don't make sense because you're you're ruining your defense all right so you want to stay maximum wingspan all right and even if you did go minimum you'd only have a 69 three point all right so stay maximum as you can see six four it doesn't it doesn't give you that much benefit to go six four so stay six five and you want to go maximum wingspan now as you can see from the clips the monster can still shoot with this build all right you can still shoot with this build if you have a good jump shot um at 99.9 .9 overall you get plus five to your attributes so even if you only hit 99 that's plus four you're gonna have a 70 overall there and thereabouts three point so if you've got a good shot you got your hot spots because you've got all of the badges you've got 10 badges so you'll have your hot spots too you can shoot if you're a good shooter you can shoot if you time your shot well you can shoot but again this build the play style um, the way I'd recommend you use this build is attacking the rim, um, play with a shooting big, okay, play with a shooting big, and this is where your takeover comes in as well. If you're playing with a shooting big, then um, playmaking takeover is going to be really good for this build because your dime is going to be crazy um, and you're going to be able to pass out. Alternatively, you can go for the dunks, go for the posters and Get that slash and takeover as well so put slash and takeover on this it's up to you which one you choose i wouldn't recommend putting the lockdown takeover um slash and takeover is going to boost your ball control it's going to boost your shot a little bit as well um playmaking takeover is going to increase your um your playmaking ability it's going to allow you to get ankle breakers as well off the snatch back so it's up to you which one you choose personally i will go with the slash and takeover all right that's me personally um from the way I play, my play style, the badges I know that I'll have and the people I know that I'll play with. I like to ISO. Um, so I want to be able to, I, I want to be able to, to destroy you at the rim. That's just how I like to play. And I know that people are going to play back off you when you're using this build as well. So having session takeover is going to be useful. But you can also go with playmaking takeover. There's nothing wrong with that. It's going to make you faster. Um, it's going to allow you to get ankle breakers as well. So you can go with either one. It's completely up to you. But that's really how you make this build, man. That's the best way to make a two-way slashing playmaker on this build, all right? So keep in mind, because the three-point is relatively low, you do have to be a good shooter if using this build, okay? So if you were to use this, I would run this on the twos. This build is OP on the twos or at the one on the three, all right? If you're running at the one at threes, that's fine, but don't run it anywhere else on threes, okay? Just at the one. So this is a different version with better shooting, and this is the slashing playmaker, okay? Now, Badge Plug uses the slashing playmaker. He uses it really well. Here is an example of that. And they can shoot pretty decently as long as you've got Dimer and Floor General on. So I hit him with two behind the backs right here, another behind the back, a hop in the paint, Dude gets a tip still off the jump. It's okay. I get the ball back, kick it to lock, and that's green right away. I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been doing back doors on the twos. I've been doing a lot of stuff to make people mad, but check out the catch and shoot. Okay, so this is how you make the best version of the slash and playmaker. You're going to go point guard, all right? Point guard with your position. Now, the pie chart you're going to select is the full playmaking pie chart, all right? Now, some people will tell you to go with the slashing and finishing pie chart. Don't do that, all right? Don't do that. Go with the full playmaking pie chart, all right? Then you're gonna go with the top pie chart for your physical to give you the most amount of speed, all right? The most amount of speed. So this is how you're going to set your attributes up, okay? Again, screenshot, pause the video, do whatever you need to do make sure you set it up exactly like this again as you can see on the bottom defensive rebounding you max that out first and pay attention to your pass accuracy and your ball handling as well that's important 
okay so make sure you copy this exactly like this so it gives you 11 finishing 15 shooting 25 playmaking and nine defensive badges now if you want you can go 12 15 24 it's up to you okay that is really up to you if you want to do that so you can either go 12 finishing with 24 playmaking or 11 finishing with 25 playmaking the choice is yours simple all right now personally i'm gonna go with the 12 finishing and the 24 playmaking because that works better for me man and then we're gonna go into the body type so for the body type i tend to go built for my other guard builds you know my general guard builds now for this build you're going to want to go six five for the height okay six five now reason being if you go six five you'll see that you're driving dunk is at 80 okay at 6'4 your driving dunk is also at 80 but at 6'5 the benefits you get again outweigh the negatives of going up to 6'5 so it makes more sense to go 6'5 so go 6'5 minimum weight all right minimum weight and then with your wingspan you're going to keep it at the full all right keep it at the full now if you do want to you can go minimum wingspan all right you can do that and there's nothing wrong with that um, if you want to go minimum, minimum wingspan, you can. But for me personally, um, I'm going to keep mine at default. I'm not going to go max. If you go max, this is what you get. And I want to be able to have an 83 ball. All right. I want that 83 ball when I hit 99.9. .9, all right. So I'm going to go default wingspan with my build. Now you can go max wingspan if you want to. You can. Um, but I don't think that the benefits of going max wingspan are worth the, the negatives that you get with it. So I won't be going max wingspan. I'll be going default wingspan with this build. All right. Now, the takeover that you select, you have a choice between these three. Now, if you have a choice between slashing and shot creating, I'm always going to pick slashing. It's just better all around. And then for this particular build, you can go playmaking or slashing. It's up to you. Personal preference, I'm going to go slashing. Um, but there's nothing wrong with going playmaking takeover here either. So you can choose between playmaking and slashing. I'm going to go slashing and that's going to give me the slashing playmaker, man. All right. Now again, this player is an absolute monster on the twos, a beast on the twos. So I'd run this at the two on the twos, um, but you can also run this on the threes as well at the one. Again, primarily at the one. Now, the next builds, the shooting builds. We're gonna get into the shooting builds. So the first of the shooting builds is the playmaking shot creator. Now there are two versions of this. The first version is essentially the play sharp from 2k19 so this is going to give you the dribbling as well as the shooting all right now examples of people that have this build um i think g-man has this build um uh, steezo has this build i personally have this build as well so here are some clips of me using this build Cause as long as he has to respect you it's raps green okay so this is the best way to make this build so position you're going to go point guard as with all of the other builds now the pie chart you want to select is the shooting and playmaking pie chart so that's the yellow and green all right you want to pick the yellow and green pie chart now for your physical profile you're going to pick the top profile to give you the speed that's what you need you know what i mean <laughs> now for your attributes this is how you're going to set them up okay screenshot pause the video make sure you have five finishing 20 shooting 20 playmaking and eight defensive all right eight defensive now when i made my version of this build um, I put I think I put an additional one on shooting and an additional one on playmaking all right and that meant that I only had five defensive badges I can tell you from experience that the extra shooting and playmaking badges don't really make that much difference um, but the extra defensive badges would make a big difference all right so I would recommend you do it this way and you have the eight on your defense all right again make sure you put the defensive rebounding up and put some on your offensive rebounding as well because that's what's going to give you your eight defensive badges copy this exactly all right so body type again i just go build on my guard builds like i just do that anyway height so for the height for this build 
some people will say go 6-3 I wouldn't recommend that man don't don't go 6-3 that's that's small it's small and if you come up against like a two-way slashing playmaker you're gonna get dicked on man they're gonna force up on you if you don't believe me ask Ticino man <laughs> you, if, you, if you don't believe me ask Ticino the monster forcing up on him the whole time so you don't want to go 6-3 you can either go 6-4 6-5 now personally for me the benefits you get from going 6-5 do not outweigh the drawbacks okay there are too many drawbacks from going six four six five instead of six four so personally i would go six four minimum weight okay minimum weight and then you're gonna go minimum wingspan on this build all right this build is for dribbling and for playmaking all right so you're gonna minimize your wingspan okay look what it gives you when you maximize you don't want that man that's not what you want you want to minimize it so you're gonna go minimum wingspan in this build you're gonna be lights out shoot straight lights out you get your hot spots and everything it's a gg on top of that you dribble in like it's it's a crazy this is a crazy asshole build because if you, you you have enough badges on your shooting to be lights out you have enough badges on your playmaking where if you're playing with someone else you're gonna be dotting them and they're gonna be scoring all the time and you got enough in your finishing that if you need to little euro little hop step you know you got this and then with your eight defensive badges you're going to be able to play great defense okay so for your takeover now you can either go any four any one of these four will work all right any one of these four will work now for this particular build i wouldn't go slashing um at the start of the year everyone was choosing shot creator takeover i chose shot creator takeover however if i was to do this again I would pick the sharp shooting takeover for this build, alright? This build is primarily for shooting threes and the sharp shooting takeover is not just for catch and shoot. If you stand still threes, the sharp shooter takeover is going to help you. So I would pick the sharp shooter takeover if I was to do this again. Alright, now you can pick the playmaking takeover if you want to. You can pick that, but I'm gonna go with the sharp shooting takeover, okay? And that's what it's gonna give me the playmaking shot creator you know what i mean now you can use this build on the twos or the threes it doesn't really matter it's probably better for the threes but it works perfectly well for the twos as well so this is a really really good build now the next version of this build it's also a playmaking shot creator but it's more like a pure sharp from 2k19 uh, just with better ball handling okay so a youtuber who uses this is annoying check out some clips of him using this build Right here. Yeah. You know my body, big ass green. You know my body, big ass green, Smurf! When they get the pump fake, I thought they were gonna stay. Smurf, straight. you gotta take that, Smurf! Big ass green, come no. on, man! So this is how you make it. So, as with all the other builds, you're going to go point guard as your position, okay? Now, the pie chart that you're going to pick is the sharp shooting pie chart, okay? So, the full green pie chart, the biggest green, you're going to pick that pie chart, okay? So, the physical profile, as with all the other guard builds, you're going to pick the top one, the one that gives you the most speed, okay? Pick that pie chart. Now, this is how you set up the attributes. Again, pause the video, screenshot, take a picture, do whatever you have to do to make sure you set up the attributes exactly like this okay this is how you want them set up now you want one finishing upgrade okay 28 shooting 15 playmaking and nine defensive all right you do not need all 30 shooting upgrades you just don't need 30 you don't need it all right 28 is more than enough and that allows you to have nine defensive badges as well which is going to make it's going to be so important for this build all right those nine badges are going to be so important you only have one finishing badge but that doesn't really matter you have the attributes that you need to be able to make a layup if you need to make that um so this is what you're going to do one finishing 28 shooting 15 playmaking and nine defense okay now for your body type again with all my god i just go built so i go built it doesn't make a difference put whatever you like now height some people will tell you to go 6'2 i know annoying's guard is 6'2 but i wouldn't recommend that man i'd recommend you stay at 6'3 then go minimum weight and go minimum wingspan you a shooter straight lights out that's pretty simple pretty straightforward okay that's also going to give you an 81 ball handle which means that if you have plus five, so with your 99.9, .9, you're going to be able to speed boost off rip. 
Now, you can also put shop creator takeover on this build. You will be able to speed boost a bit quicker, all right? So shop creator takeover works on this build. It works quite well because your shooting is already so high. So you don't really need the shop shooting takeover. Whereas if you have shop creating takeover, then that means that you're going to be able to speed boost um, and you'll get your speed boost quicker during the game because remember as your bar fills up you get closer to that speed to that full takeover value so shot creator takeover gives you plus 10 on your ball control whereas um sharp shooting takeover only gives you plus five so you will be able to speed boost quicker in the game with shot creator takeover than with sharp shooter takeover and your shooting is so high it's 95 and if you hit 99.9 .9, it's going to be 100 already so you don't really need sharp shooting takeover for this but it's up to you if you don't really dribble a lot, then shot creator takeover, you probably don't need it. Now, you can run this build on the threes or the twos, but this is primarily a build to run with screens, okay? This is not a primary ISO build. You can ISO with it, but it works best if you're running with screens, okay? Nice and simple, man. And that's going to give you the playmaking shot creator, okay? All right, now, the final build, the final guard build that I'm going to show you guys is basically my favorite build on this game this is my favorite build on this game my favorite guard build and that is the offensive threat okay now why is this my favorite build well this is basically the build that i've been using since 2k18 this is basically the slashing shot creator on 2k20 all right this is the 2k20 version of the slashing shot creator man now a youtuber who uses this build is g size okay so here's some clips of him using it. Right, so this is how you make the build. I ain't gonna lie, this video is long as hell right now. So what I'm gonna do is if you guys can smash 10 likes on this video, I will drop a separate video explaining exactly how to make this build, all right? 10 likes. I know you guys can do it. Let's go. So that's it for this video. I know it was a long one. I appreciate you watching the video, rocking with me, and I hope this helped you out. If it did, make sure you smash the like button man even on christmas day i'm uploading for you guys man so make sure you smash the like button make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well hit that subscribe button and put the post notifications on because i told you daily uploads to the end of the year bruh so tomorrow i'll be dropping the best big man builds for you guys man if you want to make a big man i got you until then it's been your boy legendary shawnee we do what it do and we do what it do yeah